Hello Internet, I have here a Comet router. It's a gantry style machine. There's two motors on the Y axis. Um, one motor on the X, one motor on the Z. This is all driven by a beagle bone in a nice little enclosure. Of course I took the lid off, but uh, <coughs> beagle bone, some of the stepper drivers from Probotics, relay card uh, for the spindle. Um, let's see, we've got the axis interface up here. Let's turn the machine on. I'm going to home all the axes. Now the interesting thing about this is it is using my new gantry component. That's a HAL component that allows you to turn one axis out from the motor uh, planner of Linux CNC into two joints. I'm going to actually stall one of the stepper motors here and intentionally rack the gantry so you can see what happens. You'll see one of the motors stops earlier when the home switch hits. That'll be the left motor. And the right motor continues until its home switch runs and it does the right thing, including backing off to a home position that is uh, significantly far away from the actual home switches. Uh, now if you try that with two actual joints, what will happen as soon as uh, the earlier joint homes, it will immediately start wrapping out to its um, final destination, uh, which is a very bad thing if you actually have a gantry system. Um, there are a couple of different ways around it. Um, I have done that with the gantry component here. And let's just do, uh, we'll home, uh, machine home. We'll home the Y axis one more time. This time I'll stall left motor a little bit. There's an obvious racking around to the gantry. So I can back up a little bit here. Maybe get a better view of what's going on from above. But now you'll see the right motor will stop. Wait for the left motor to catch up. Vax off, hits the homing switches again, rapids to its location. So, these configuration files will be on my repository and hopefully soon in the machine kit repo. Thanks a lot!